Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another match day vlog where today we take on Peterborough United at home. High flying Peterborough United, obviously going to be a very tough game today. We haven't won since the end of November now. It was here though, it was against Cheltenham. 2-1 uh, victory from two penalties from Alfie May, funny enough, who is back in the starting 11. Backinson makes his first start as well. Connor Coventry and Lewis Farini on the bench. Um, it looks like it's going to be an interesting change to a formation. It looks like we could potentially be playing a 3-4-3 um, or a 5-2-3, whichever way you look at it. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that gets on. Corey Blackett-Taylor not in the squad, apparently injured. Um, you would presume that he's probably been given permission to go talk to another club, is what my guess would be. But apart from that, quite looking forward to this game for some weird reason. You know, we haven't won in ages, but... I'm really, really up for it today, so hopefully we can get a win. Let's see what the fans think ahead of kickoff. Right, Ben, Happy New Year. Welcome Happy back. Nice. Do you remember this place? No. It's been a little while for you, no, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Obviously missed the last couple of games. Uh, what's your reasoning on, on those? Uh, New Year's Day. Yeah. Uh, Freya's mum made a banging roast. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I went to that instead of here, but uh, Port Vale, yeah, could not any away games in January, unfortunately, but... It's not as if we're poor, winning. Poor from Ben, isn't it? In 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 reality, it's okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, but Ben, yes, mate. starting eleven. Um, obviously, Blacker Taylor is injured. Thoughts on that one? He's gone, mate. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, some people are like, oh, you know, I don't mind that. To be fair, something something different in it. So and. It gives, obviously, Appleton a chance today to play a new formation. Um, interesting, he's gone with a back three of Ness, Thomas and Jones. Yeah. Um, I'm quite looking forward to seeing Thomas back in a centre-back role. I think he's he looks OK when he's playing centre-back and he hasn't got to do too much, much of the forward work. And I'm interested to see Ness in the start of 11 today. Thoughts on those? Yeah. Don't know. No, no. Interesting to see what the It's It is like, interesting, yeah. but um, we'll see. Tyreek Backinson starts. Yeah. Thoughts? Good. Straight, Get in. straight yeah. in. Love it. Um... Hopefully he does well. He doesn't cool get injured. Uh, obviously what Kamara was Supposed meant to be, be for us. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on today. Um, apart from that, Alfie May back in the start 11. Happy with that one? Very happy with that one, I presume. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's not, he he's not, hasn't got a knock anymore. So. No, exactly. And uh, finally, score prediction. I know you're happy today. I, I am really buzzing today. I'm, I'm really I'm, up for it. I'm not. I'm you're not. not? No, as you were saying, hot, flying high up there, third in the league. Us sitting at 13. I'm beating in quite a while. <laughs> and we haven't won in, like you said, Cheltenham at home. Yeah. That's a long, long time. Mm -hmm. That seems like months ago. It was months yeah. ago, but it seems a lot longer. Um, but, yeah, I've said all day 3-0 Peterborough, unfortunately. 3-0 Peterborough. 3-0 Peterborough. He doesn't even back us to get a goal. That is really, really poor, Ben. Not very happy with you on that one. Right, once again, joined with Finn. Thoughts on the lineup? Oh, I didn't even realise it was back three until you said. Yeah. Um, I was more just looking at the new signings who were in it. But, yeah. Obviously, Backinson starts? Yeah, I've... Never heard of him. Never heard of him. <laughs> never heard of him, but from what you said, it's a good signing. Yeah, and obviously, Coventry on the bench. Lewis Farini also on the bench. Two players that I'm very much looking forward to seeing play. Connor Coventry signing on Friday. Our first permanent addition of the window. Thoughts on that one? I'm excited. He's only 23, mm -hmm. and I just it's like, yeah, it's actually permanent one, three-year deal. Yeah. Um, European winner, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, won the Conference League last season. That's a great point from Ben there. Um, but I'll end on score prediction for today's game. I reckon one all. Ness. Ness, Ness, Ness from a corner. <laughs> Ness now score. it would be interesting if we scored from a corner. We haven't scored from a corner since. Over a year now, it's Bristol Rovers at home the last time that we scored from a corner. It was Ryan Innes. Anyway, let's head in there and hopefully we get the three points. Good hand, Ash! 
that's fine. Oh. Touch. Shit. Oh, what a goal. What a finish. They massively deserved it. They piled on the pressure the last minute or so. It was coming. Half time here, one nil to Peterborough. Um, credit to the Peterborough fans, you know they they haven't stopped singing. And to be honest, I don't blame them. They've played they've played decent. Um, they know how to press us. Uh, we've struggled to play out. You know this new formation. I was interested to see it. It started well, but um, considering we haven't had a single shot in the game, I don't think it's going well. The bright spells from that half. Uh, Backinson's looks good. Um, that's about it. Um, both Campbells have been subbed off. Looks like Carnu and Louis Watson are coming on. I'd expect us to go to a 5-3-2 now then. Um, Louis Backinson and Dobbo in the middle and then Carnu and May up front. We'll see how that one gets done. Hopefully, we get some shots off in this half. Go on, Joanne. I don't have too much to rant about, in all honesty, which is a bit weird when you lose. Um, I think we probably deserved a bit more, um, especially in that second half. thought the change of formation was the right move. Um, but obviously, Appleton put us in that situation in the first place. You know, those subs and the change of formation was 45 minutes too late. I think if we'd started um, the way that we'd obviously played in that second half, I might have got something today. Um, I thought... In all honesty, a point would have been fair in the second half. But first half, you know, they were total domination and probably deserved it. Second half was a little bit more end-to-end. -end and they obviously had that um, double save from Ash and then hitting the bar and that little chance there as well. But um, apart from that, I can't really think of any chance off the top of my head. Alfie should have scored the um, chance where he's won the ball back from pressing. It gave us a complete flip to what they came out at us like we came out at them in the second half, um, which I thought was was better. Um, in all honesty, it's, it's hard because, you know, the new signings look great. Still don't think Appleton's the right man. And that that's where the, the issue lies currently. Um, if we get something at Burton, then, well, if we get three points at Burton and begin kicking on a little bit, then, you know, it becomes a little bit more... You know, once he has his own players kind of thing. And I know I hate that excuse so much, but currently he's tactically inept and that was probably one of the reasons Holden got sacked. So thank you very much for watching today. If you are new, like, subscribe, all of that stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.